Statistics Canada released its total cattle inventory as of January 1st, 2024, and it's not good. Real Ag Radio's Lindsay Smith joins us now for an outlook. Lindsay, good to have you with us. What are the key numbers? Yeah, thanks for having me on. So uh, not necessarily a huge surprise, per se, that our cattle numbers are down here in Canada. Uh, we've been seeing sort of that erosion of the cow herds for year-over-year year numbers. Uh, but the numbers are really low. In fact, uh, all cattle down down 2% since year-over-year, uh, year, lowest level since 1989. And it's that cattle herd and the replacement heifer number that are really hurting. So we did still have just under a million dairy cows, and that, of course, feeds into the beef market as well. Um, however, it's that heifer inventory number down 6%, a sure sign that the cow herd numbers are trending down, and pretty significantly so. Of course, here in the U.S., we've been talking about all the challenges facing uh, the cow herds. What's the pressure in Canada for that downtrend? Well, certainly similar reasons, uh, for sure. Uh, much of Western Canada has been under significant drought in the last five years. Some years much worse than others. So 2021, a significant drought. And, you know, our cow herd is very much centered in Alberta, in Saskatchewan, and they were hardest hit by that drought. So that certainly plays a role. And more recently, we've had some incredible opportunities for profitability, so profitability means that for those that, you know, maybe uh, have been toughing it out in this market, took their chance at, at making some real dollars on those heifers, on those cows. And, and, you know, especially with grass being tight, with hay supplies being tight, they've taken the, you know, let's, let's send some of these cows to town, let's send the heifers to feed, and cattle producers just aren't in an expansion mindset right now. So what's it going to take to turn this around and keep heifers and cows in the Canadian herd? Well, I think similarly that you're seeing in the U.S., uh, moisture is going to be a key part. And we did see just this past week, it came in the form of snow, but Saskatchewan will pretty much always take moisture. Uh, so they did get some moisture this week. That's important. Uh, but, you know, another key part is just that continued optimism and continued profitability. So we've heard from some ranchers some farmers that realistically they need to see this kind of profitability continue for longer before they're really willing to say, all right, let's hold back these heifers and let's go into expansion mode. All right. That was Real Ag Radio's Lindsay Smith. We appreciate your time today. And this Real Ag Radio update is brought to you by Heads Up Plant Protectants. You can go to headsupst.com for information on their product line. And you can catch Real Ag Radio. It airs at 4.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays on Rural Radio Channel 147 on Sirius XM. And we will talk with them again tomorrow on Market Day Report.